Do you sometimes wish you could be in two places at once? Because that's the core mechanic that drives the puzzles in Hourglass. The Monthly Demo Hourglass is a first-person puzzle game that explores the world of a technologically advanced ancient Egypt. You discover this world through the eyes of Awa McConnor, who was searching for her lost father, Arthur, who did not return from his last expedition. Even from the menu, Hourglass had me intrigued. I've enjoyed games like Rhyme and Journey, and the lighting, art style and music in Hourglass had me feeling like this may be a similar experience. After journeying down a river by boat to an oasis, you enter a ruin and step through a portal into the world of bright and breezy floating islands and a long gone civilization with a proclivity for switches, platforms and puzzles that have been left behind. The puzzle components are nothing you haven't seen before, cubes to move, buttons to push, doors to activate, but Awa can't do these things by herself, or can she? Awa can record her actions for a set amount of time before rewinding back to her starting position and playing out the recorded actions. By doing this, she can move blocks to activate platforms while simultaneously jumping across those platforms or push a block across a gap whilst she stands on top of that block. It's a bit like playing a co-op game with the added difficulty of a time limit to record your actions and without having to shout at the other person because they're doing it wrong. <laughs> You're first introduced to the mechanic by walking through archways that activate the recording before being given total control of when to start and stop in the second level. I had no difficulty solving the puzzles in the first level but then I got stuck on the second. For starters I had somehow missed a key area of the puzzle maybe because the level was so brown and I was trying to solve it without all of the pieces. Once I had all the pieces I don't think I'd completely wrapped my head around the way the mechanic worked with the record rewind replay that I ended up following a walkthrough only to discover I was this close to solving the puzzle anyway. As far as I could tell there was no fail state in the demo which I think works well with creating a calm and immersive experience and lately I've been attracted to games without that kind of pressure. I played the demo on a Sunday morning so sipping my tea and spending time in an aesthetically relaxing game without the added worry of getting a game over was really enjoyable. Hourglass just finished a successful Kickstarter and the developers now plan to work on the game full time with their next step being to open a Steam store page. There are links in the description below if you would like to follow Hourglass's development and check the demo out for yourself. Let me know if you get through the second level in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. I also put out Let's Plays every Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye!